this is uh, uh, the first microscope uh, in uh, Bulgaria, uh, SPM, I know you've seen in uh, uh, the other institute of academy, the other one. But now it is a little bit uh, more nice because it's island <laughs> and uh, because it's uh, with more knots and it's able to do some biological measurement. We have a sample measure, measuring in liquid and as I know, nobody can do something like this in the organic, so we have some. So you're doing scientific support for the Institute of the Academy in the field of FN. But only of academy, well, maybe also the university. But apart, apart from that, you have your own line of research, which is you said nanoparticles. Yes. And uh, well, say a bit more. I mean, nanoparticles. Which system? What is my personal yeah. thing? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, my thesis was uh, yeah. silicon nanoparticles in uh, silicon suboxide fields in the market. And uh, my lovely part of this is photoluminescence because they are able uh, to shine. Uh, you can see them in, uh, even in uh, nighttime. Uh, we, we make them anomalous and also nanocrystal. Uh, and uh, we investigate them like transporter uh, properties, like transporter properties. But uh, they have applications there right now. We have luminescence, so we do something for them to, to measure their electroluminescence, like for application like devices, and also for memories. We started to use no, 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 a lot of memory. You're going to use the IFM to in those kind of applications? Uh, I don't think I can see it. Uh, we have picture with uh, zinc cell night. Uh, which is buried in the uh, silicon superoxide matrix. Usually you can't see them because they are buried in the matrix, but when you investigate with the uh, EFM, you can see uh, distribution of uh, electric fields, so you can see the size, um, more or less their size, their distribution inside the matrix. You can see. Uh, I'm sorry for my English. Oh, yes. but, uh, okay, uh, the atomic cost usually uh, it's a way to, to measure in the synthesis. You can, uh, you can see the, the distribution of the particles inside because of their electrical properties. So we have something for us. And also, well, of course, the hardness of the tubes. <laughs> what kind of uh, what is the size of this? So you know that this measurement can. What is the size of the orb? Uh, what is the biggest amplitude that you can see? Okay, we bought two scanners. Uh, the smaller one, which is uh, for high resolution, and, uh, which is liquid system, so we can measure the in the liquids. It's uh, with uh, 10 microns whole scale. And the bigger one is close loop, which is able to be more precise measurement of nano -lithography. You know with close loop where exactly you are on the sample, so you can repeat something. You can oh, so you can uh, align one thing with 120 microns scale, so we, can, we have some range. Yeah. So you can align one drawing with another? Can you align? Choose one pattern. Yes. Can you go back? Yes. And, uh, and get this? Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, registration or yes? Yes, you first have to find on the other surface. Because you have one yeah. micron future and one very big sample. <laughs> Well, in the past when we did this, we had to make some kind of with a yeah, mark. Just with yeah, clean room, we had to make a, yeah, yeah. a bullet I, I, that was so that we can find out the place again. But, uh, yeah. but it's nice that you can register. The registration is the more difficult place. Yeah.